Hello, Rep children. Repostal here. Even after a tense listening, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers still didn't grow on me. I wouldn't say Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers impressed me at first as uh, Damn or To Pimp a Butterfly as the album. At first I was just disappointed that the album didn't click with me. Then I've tried to write essays focusing only on concepts and ideas. But the more I listen to it, the more difficult I find it to speak about this project, avoiding my true feelings. So here is time for breakdown and breakthrough. Kendrick Lamar is an artist that has always been keeping perfect balance between concept and form, between message and sonic, between art and entertainment. Don't Kill My Vibe that made Lamar world famous was actually a meditative and reclusive track misconcepted for party anthem. The loneliest song on Good Kid Mad City was full of different perspectives and movie-like cliffhangers, making it an intense storytelling for curious listeners. His To Pimp a Butterfly was an example of how you can turn a quite avant-garde record into a great installment with sonic palettes, variety of emotions and message even not the target audience can relate to. Them, on the contrary, received critique of being too mainstream, but eventually it became the album that led Lamar to Pulitzer Prize. With that being said, Mr. Morale is Kendrick's most introspective, most revealing album. But it isn't fun at all. There are no songs here that I could call genuinely bad, but they definitely lack something that makes you wanna come back to. Tracks seem too long, oversaturated with lyrical content, and some of them even don't work as standalone tracks being taken out of context. We Cry Together is an Oscar worthy performance, but be honest, it's not the track you wanna listen to during your walk, gym, or any other situation. Fuck you, bitch. No, fuck you, no, fuck you, bitch. Crown and Mother I Soba are centerpiece tracks here, but they can be hard experience not because of the topics, but unremarkable production as well. They accused my cousin, did he touch you, Kendrick? Never lied, but no one believed me when I said he did it. N95 as a lead single seems a weird choice for me. It's one of the few bangers here, but still it's obviously weaker than Humble, DNA, Element or King Kunta. It sounds like it belongs to Baby Kim and doesn't resemble the rest of the album. Ty Hard and Purple Hearts are more pop influenced tracks, but you can compare it to Loyalty or All the Stars because they lack energy or catchy moments. Another problem here is interludes. You shouldn't even compare Blend Baby Kim or Kodak Black tracks with For Free, which was one of the greatest hip-hop performances ever and, by the way, was a conceptual storytelling track. The only song I'd like to return to was Silent Hill. Yes, it is silly. Yes, it is perfectly made for TikTok and breaks cohesiveness. But I choose me. I'm sorry. Push these niggas off me like who? Push these bitches off me like who? Push these niggas off me like who? Though Mr. Morale touches on universal topics and can be a healing experience for traumatized listeners, for me it seems to be the album exclusively made for Kendrick Lamar. You see, Kendrick's media persona has never received harsh critique. He's a lawful citizen that helps his native community and a loyal husband that has been dating one girl since high school. With his new album, Mr. Morale and Big Steppers, Lamar seems to be breaking his own myth claiming he was never actually living consciously in a psychological sense. And for the first time he opens up about his sex addiction that ruined his relationships. The whole record is Kendrick's way of coping with trauma and getting relief, accepting himself the way he is. And even when Lamar speaks on cancel culture, it seems like he's just trying to defend the fact his fans gotta accept him as controversial personalities, not trying to redeem him. Kendrick made you think about it, but he is not your savior. With that being said, I don't consider Mr. Morale and Big Steppers as a bad project but I just feel it will never grow on me. It would be interesting to read your thoughts, so leave them in comments, like, subscribe, and pray for Apostle.